another episode of Shazam Witches. I'm here with Diana, and she's letting us, or she's graciously letting us, use her home to uh, make a new sandwich today. And we, well, I forgot my apron, so I asked her to lend me one, and this there you is go. this is what she came up with. <laughs> Total like grandma apron, but I'm gonna have to rock it because you need to be clean into it's vintage. The, it's vintage. We need to be clean into the kitchen. You can help me button it up in the back. And this is my new one for the day. And we're going to use the kitchen and we're going to go see what we have. So let's go check it out. Okay, so we kind of ran through the kitchen and we'll go through it right now. But I do have one special guest joining me. Come here. He's, uh, he's going to be hands for the day, like okay. always. These. <laughs> he's going to be helping me. He's going to be my uh, second pair of hands in the kitchen today. This is, you know, is all John Bowers. That's me. These are hands. Yeah. All up and down. <laughs> He's all that is man right here. <laughs> Take it all in. <laughs> and uh, make sure you guys enjoy him. And I guess let me introduce you to the ingredients. Okay, so we ransacked her kitchen and we found a bunch of delicious looking stuff. We, she had uh, chicken breasts available to us and we have some eggs, some uh, mozzarella cheese, olives, garlic sauce, some breadcrumbs, some croutons, some Doritos. And the highlight of the day is going to be the bread we picked out from Ralph's again. We did get sponsored by Ralph's. <laughs> but um, from Ralph's, we have the uh, jalapeno cheese rolls. And uh, they're fairly cheap, and they came to six, and they're pretty good looking. And we're going to enjoy the hell out of these. So we're going to cut them up, and we are going to start the production of the sandwich. I'm going to have uh, my assistant, John, start Whoa. doing, start doing all the breadcrumb stuff. And then I'm going to work on the binding agent, which is eggs. And this special salsa that she got from um, one of her aunts or something. Uh, a good friend of hers, basically, Alinho Picante de Tamarindo. It's really delicious. I recommend you guys check it out. We'll have a link to the her site right on the video. And it's, I don't know, it's just really good. So let's try how it comes out with the chicken. Fresh all of them. Give them the Get them there nice and good like. Got to crush all of them. What do you do? Okay, we're going to create the binding agent right now, and then we're going to bread the uh, chicken strips, or chicken pieces, with the stuff he's crushing. One. I can't. <laughs> It'll explode. <laughs> All right. Mix it in. And then we're going to toss in some of that special sauce that she has lying around. The Alinho Picante de Tamarindo. La Sassuera. No, so Susera? How do you pronounce that? Don't ask me. I'll speak the language. Okay. So now John's crushed the bread, crumbs, and the uh, Doritos, and he cut some of the bread, and then I cut some of the bread. Mm -hmm. Damn, that's good. Now we're going to actually start um, battering and uh, or binding the uh, chicken breast to these crumbs. So let's see how this is going to turn out. I've never done this before, but um, I think it'll be all right. Let it drip off a little bit. Like that? Yeah. Sure. Didn't you cover the whole chicken? I did cover the whole chicken. Oh. Do Ooh. Doritos. The Dorito chicken. Doritos to uh, bread the chicken. I think that'll be alright and safe. Salsa picante Doritos too. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I have some tongs. I'm gonna flip things with my tongs. Oh crap. Oh shit. Alright, so we have a little pan here and we're gonna start just toasting some of these bread slices. Uh, I have to be quick about it because it does have cheese still, and the cheese will melt again, possibly ruining the bread. Yep. You hear that? Sounds great. So. Alright, so we're going to move this chicken onto the bread, and then we're going to pour some sauce over it. So let's see if we can start the assembly of these delicious looking sandwiches. Okay. My lovely assistant is going to bring me a plate at a time so I can put the chicken on it. And the right out of the stove, no, oven, no, stove top. Stove top. And then we're going to toss some delicious mozzarella salad, uh, cheese on it. Mozzarella salad. Better. I agree. We are going to top off our sandwiches with some avocado. And then we are going to place some spinach on it. What? We're going to pour some yeah, Caesar what? vinaigrette on it. You can't see the logo because we're not supporting that. I'm down. Screw it. Craft's good. Whoop, 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 whoop. Cease and desist. <laughs> Or garlic. Ooh, I'm gonna 
regret this. <laughs> okay, and then we're going to take some of this spinach we have here and then just lightly decorate it on every Shazam witch. Lightly decorate it? Yeah, yeah. heavily <laughs> drop. <laughs> it looks like a... <laughs> we're just going to say, like... And once your caviar has to stay there. Mm. Alright, you guys. Mm. Mm. Thank you. Mm -hmm. So if you guys enjoy these things, try one. I didn't ask for two, but okay. You're getting two. <laughs> well, we'll try Sweet. it first and we'll, we'll pick up the other one we have left around. Right around. So it's full of chicken and spinach and mozzarella cheese and that delicious sauce you guys had lying around. Where did you say they got sauces from again? Mexico. Just Mexico. It's just hands. <laughs> Oh, your ass. Oh, okay, cool. And yeah, it was really good, so you throw it on everything. And it's breaded with Doritos and like breadcrumbs and garlic butter, uh, and garlic butter croutons. Mm. So hopefully you guys enjoy it. Thank you. Sure. Alright, so thank you once again for joining us for another episode of Shazam Sandwiches. I have to get this apron off. Can you help me real quick? Sure. Alright, thank you very much again for letting us use you your kitchen and your house. Thank you for cooking for us and cleaning for us. Thank you. Can't make a sandwich at no time. problem. So uh, let us know what you guys thought in the comment section or wherever you want to leave a message to us and uh, maybe we'll come to your house next time. So thank you guys for joining us and uh, stick around. What a moment.